Hi guys, what's up? This is Ravi. This is an introduction video of a chemical engineering in pharmaceutical industry. Before entering into the video, I'll brief about myself. I have done an executive MBA in marketing, BTEC in chemical engineering. And I'm certified in Six Sigma Greenbelt, IOSH, and risk assessment. Trained in process safety management by GVS Cybertech and DECRA. And coming to my professional experience, I'm having overall 10 plus years of experience in the pharmaceutical industry as a process engineer. The main motto of this channel is to provide technical information to the people who are entering into the pharmaceutical industry from the pressure stage. During the initial stage of my career, many times I have searched my queries in Google, but I didn't receive any satisfactory result. So I would like to share my experience and thoughts to overcome those issues. And I have seen many people, they started their career in production. They would like to switch their career in other streams. Few people, they succeeded and few of them, they didn't. So this channel will be helpful for them. Today, I would like to discuss the importance of a chemical engineer in the pharmaceutical industry. There are various roles in the pharmaceutical plant. Chemical engineer can work in various departments like production, process safety, process safety, process scale up. You can also hear as a technology transfer, technology absorption, or manufacturing science and technology. Chemical engineer can also work in a project, operation excellency, validation engineer, quality assurance, project management, and supply chain management. So that is the reason people call chemical engineer as a universal engineer. Out of all the departments, top five departments are very important for the chemical engineering calculation. We'll discuss all basic chemical engineering calculations in depth in coming videos. Now we'll focus on the roles and responsibilities of a chemical engineer in various departments, production engineer. As a production engineer, you need to execute the manufacturing process as per predefined procedure by following CGMP and process guidelines, either in manual, semi-auto, or fully automated facility. Mainly, production engineers involved in the operation and cleaning of equipment used in the process area, online monitoring of the environmental conditions, BMR, BPR filling, BMR means batch manufacturing records, calibration and verification of the equipments and smooth functioning of the process. Produce quality products meeting regulatory requirements, utilizing technical expertise on machine operation and its maintenance. Troubleshooting of the equipments during the process. Now comes to the process engineer. As a process engineer, responsible the process robustness. Engineering data to support scale up. To work on the developmental studies of a unit process, unit operations, such as a process intensification, reaction kinetics, mixing studies, heat and moss transfer studies, crystallization, distillation, filtration, and drying studies in the laboratory and their implementation in the scale-up facility. Solvent recovery and technical upgradation. Providing innovative solutions to address the process related challenges. Those are the major responsibilities as a process engineer. Safety and process safety engineer. As a safety engineer responsible for safe plant running without any incidents or accidents. Implementing safety guidelines, work permits, and providing safety culture among these team members and peers. Process generated affiliate handling and waste disposal, those are the major responsibilities as a safety engineer. As a process safety engineer, the role to do testing thermal hazard evaluation of the process, such as reaction hazard categorization, hazard categorization based on the process temperature, maximum time of synthesis of reaction, boiling point and decomposition temperature, chemical and material compatibility, heat of reaction, Runaway scenario, dosing rate of the limiting reagent, safe operable conditions, handling of instruments like reaction calorimetry, RC1, differential scanning calorimetry, and adiabatic calorimetries like ARC and ARSST, and using the data for evaluating the thermal hazard of the process.
those are the major responsibilities as a process safety engineer process scale up engineer as a technology transfer engineer major role is landing of the product technology from r and d to commercial manufacturing technology transfer of successfully developed project to manufacturing plant and prepare technology transfer report follow good manufacturing practices direct and support to the successful manufacture of a new product or existing product stability and validation batches coordinate the development of the manufacturing process with r and d personnel keeping in mind scale up issues process specification and operating procedure for the new product project engineer as a project engineer role is responsible to design create and optimize the system and systems used in the process industries like a pharmaceutical or chemical industries work on upgradation or modification of existing facility creation of a greenfield project as per end user requirement responsible to perform basic engineering calculations knowledge on design of equipment like a reactor condenser heat exchangers chillers dryers and boilers responsible creation of a technical specification fact mean factory acceptance test and sat means site acceptance test execution creation of pnid erection and commissioning of a project as per the planned schedule design new procedures and systems execution and review of the projects ensuring process to comply with the safety and quality standards those are the major responsibilities as a project engineer operation excellency as a operation excellency engineer to support manufacturing team to implement design for six sigma and lean six sigma concept for the waste reduction time and cost saving and improvement of productivity kaizen kai means continuous zen means improvement continuous improvement support manufacturing heads to develop capacity and utilization tools continuous improvement training to the personnel to improve daily operation to do gap analysis as part of the continuous improvement those are the major responsibilities as a operation excellency engineer as a validation engineer major role manages inspect the equipment machines and procedures that are used in manufacture various under cgmp environment as a validation engineer ensure that all equipment complies with the cgmp c24 ich and fda guidelines to ensure the system are running correctly and effectively to produce a high quality product quality assurance quality assurance to ensure the pharmaceutical products are manufactured with the safe and consistent standards as a quality assurance engineer to build the system and standard operating procedures ensuring that all products and procedures are meeting the standards ensure the quality and efficacy of the product those are the major responsibilities as a quality assurance engineer project management prepare schedule coordinate and monitor the assigned engineering projects monitor compliance to applicable codes for and quality policy performance standards and specifications interact daily with the clients to interpret their needs and requirements and present them in the field perform overall quality of the work budget schedule plan personal performance and report regularly to the project status assign responsibilities and mentor the project team so those are the major responsibilities as a project management the supply chain management engineer is responsible for demand and supply planning from clinical finished good to drug substance ensuring the demand fulfilling from assigned project the supply chain management acts as a key contributor clinical supply and operations planning process create and maintain the end to end supply chain from clinical finished good to drug substance harmonizes the supply chain strategies support long term demand and capacity planning optimize the inventory strategy so those are the major responsibilities as a supply chain management thank you guys for watching any doubts or requirements please comment on it